Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create dendrogram chart in Tableau. It's also known as tree chart. And this chart is quite commonly used to provide hierarchical view of data and make it easy to spot patterns. There are many different ways to visualize hierarchical data, but in this tutorial, we will learn how to create dendrogram chart in Tableau. So for this, we'll be using sample Superstore dataset, which is available in Tableau, and we'll be using data densification technique for creating this chart using sigmoid curve. So data densification is normally used to artificially densify the data to create such curves. So let's get started. As you can see in this particular dashboard, we are showing total number of sales, which is broken down into these different categories and each bar represents the quantity of the sales. So for example, we can see on the topmost part of the chart, we have phones, which have a sales of $330,000. And as you go further down, you can see the breakdown of all those categories and their sales. So without any further delays, let's start with a blank workbook. So for this, first of all, we will connect to the data set and we will connect the sample superstore data set. And then we have to go to our data source um, section. And we will uh, use bins, first of all, to densify the data. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet where I have created a path field with 0 and 200. So I will just copy that one and I will go back into our data set. And as this version is tablet 2020.2, so you will see the data model relationship. In order to just do the normal joins, I will open this data set and I will paste the values which I copied from that particular Excel spreadsheet. So once it's pasted, we'll do uh, inner join based on a joint calculation. So here I am trying to create a cross join. So I will create a joint calculation here by just typing in one. And the similar thing on the sheet one, which is our Excel spreadsheet, I will click one, uh, press one here. And now our partition join is created. So as you can see, for each row, we will have two values under the path section, which will be 0 and 200. So now that we have our path created, we will start working on our um, data set to draw sigmoid curve using data densification process. So this creation of path field is basically, we are trying to create a path from row 0 to 200 to densify the data for each and individual row. So let's go to the sheet. And first of all, we will create a pen based on the path field. So let's go to path and right click and create pens. For this, we will create the size of the pen one and we will just click OK. And then after that, we will create a field called sales. So for every calculation, I normally use a special corrector that helps me to identify which all calculation I have created. So I will type in sales here and here I am doing the window sum for sum of sales and then I will divide it by two. So why I'm doing this is basically when we don't join with our path field which has 0 to 200 range so it created a duplicate, duplicate values for the sales. So I'm just doing the window sum and dividing it by two. Click OK. Then we'll create another field called total sales, which is exactly the same calculation. And we will do the same window sum. And we will do the sum of sales. And then again, divide it by two. So it's exactly the same calculation. And then we need to create another field for calculating the percentage. So in this percentage field, 
we will just divide the total uh, divide the sales uh, by total sales and we will click okay and then the next field we need to calculate is percentage adjusted and for this we will do the calculation just by doing the uh, percentage calculation which we did divided by windows max value of the percentage we calculated before and just click OK on that and then we have to create a rank calculation this field will be used to create a unique ranking based on the sales value so we will just say rank <coughs> unique function and we will do it for sales and we want it in the descending order so the ranking is based on the sales value but we want it in the descending order so we will just press ok and then we need to create the coordinates so let's start with x-axis and we will for that actually we have to create an index uh, calculation but we can just do it here so I will do index function and minus one so this calculation is basically using the data densification technique where these numbers are just to create the spacing equally between all the points which we are artificially generating so this calculation you can look at different tutorials online uh, or just uh, check different ways uh, by putting the values in this calculation to get the equal spacing between each point on the data densification uh, for this line. So look at another tutorial on data densification for more details if you want more information on that. So once this x-axis is created, we are gonna create now y-axis, uh, y but for that we need to uh, create the sigmoid curve calculation. So for this, we will be using the formula for sigmoid curve, which is one divided by one plus exponential value for minus of at the right x coordinate, which we have created. Uh, and it looks like I am missing one calculation here, one bracket here. So we don't need this one actually. Yeah. So sigma curve is created now. We click OK on that. And now we need to create a y-axis coordinates. So we will just do this. And for this, we need sigmoid curve. And we are multiplying that by the rank. And we need to have a bracket here. And we want a window sum. In this case, Windows, oh, Windows Max, sorry. So we need the maximum value from the window for the DC, for the, for the rank uh, value. So we will put the rank value here, and then we need to add one. Again, this calculation is basically just after you try different uh, logarithms, like we do the calculation in algebra. So that's exactly the same thing. We have x-axis, we have the value of the sigmoid curve. So now from that, we are just doing the formula to calculate y-axis. And we will just divide it by two, and then divide it by 100. Okay, so we got the y-axis as well. So now the last calculation before we start building the workbook is to create the size calculation. So for this, we are saying if x-axis coordinate is greater than or equal to 6 and x-axis coordinate is less than or equal to 6 plus 10 
into percentage adjusted then one else zero end so we got the size calculation and now we will create the workbook so first of all we need to change the marks to lines then let's bring subcategory to the colors mark and we have path which for the bin which we created onto the column shelf we will just do right click and show all the missing values and then once that is done we will drag that pill to details and now let's drag x axis to columns y axis to rows shelf and just change the compute using by uh, by pins but we can't see it here so we need to bring the bins actually we were looking at the profit bin so this is the wrong thing which we did so we will remove that we want to create the path bin which we created so which is this one so this is the one which we were saying so we were saying change show missing value which we can already see now bring that value to the detail shell and now we change x-axis and y-axis compute using pen and you can see this curve is created once this curve is created now we go to the y-axis pill and edit the table calculation and in the nested calculation for y-axis uh, for y coordinate we will just go to specific dimension and we'll select subcategory instead of path and then in the same nested calculation we go to the rank calculation and do the same thing instead of path we select the subcategory and here you go you can see that tree chart or dendrogram dend chart appears like this and now there are multiple ways where we can modify this chart to show the way we need it to be looked at so one way is just to bring the sales if we are showing any measure value in this case we are showing sales so i will bring the sales and in, sales into size shell and we can see we can change the thickness of um, the size of the bars like this and if we change compute using by path which is already there we can see it like that um, and we also have the the sales number actual sales number we can do it like this way as well where you can see the circles appearing and you can increase the size and see it that way so there are multiple ways and the another way which we can use is we have created the size calculation so we can bring in the size shell and we will just adjust that in here and for this we will be uh, clicking on the size right clicking on the size pill in the size mark section and go to um, compute using path and you can see all the bars appearing in here so we can do it in the form of circles or in the form of bars so again there are lots of different ways to do it so uh, let's try it with the bars but if you can see here these are all of the same length so we want to edit the calculation and we want to show the bars based on the number of sales. So when we click on um, the size calculation, um, we will go to total sales calculation and in the specific dimension, we will select both subcategory and path and we will drag subcategory at the top. And the same way we will do it for the percentage adjusted we will bring both the categories and you can see we have it the bars are showing the size of the length of the bars is as per the number of sales for that category and if we want to show it in the descending order we can just edit the excess and do it in a reversed order and we can see it in a descending order um, now after doing a bit of formatting we don't need uh, grid lines so we can hide those ones we don't need zero lines we can hide those ones and we can just hide the headers and here you go you can see the dendrogram chart or the tree chart like this 
Um, we can also create another sheet where we can show the total number of sales. And I just want to show it as the number. I will hide the title and I will increase the size, let's say to 28. So we got the total sales. And another one I will create by subcategory. Row shelf, bring the subcategories to the row shelf and bring the sales here. And we'll do it in the descending order, which you can see it this way. Now we can create the dashboard. So we bring the sheet one. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can keep it as a floating container. So we do it floating. We can adjust the way we want it. So this is our sales by category. And this sheet is showing us the total sales number. We can just adjust it this way. And we can change it to fit entire view. So we got the total sales number. And then we can bring the sheet three which again we can show by each category how it looks like and again we do the full width and after doing a bit of adjustment so it will look something like this i hope you guys enjoyed this session for more such tutorials please don't forget to subscribe my channel and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.